Good morning students. Welcome to our lesson for today. In this lesson, we will construct triangles using compasses and straight edge. There will be two types. One is what we call SSS when the three sides are given and the other type an RHS when the hypotenuse and a side of a right angle is given. Let's make an accurate copy of the given triangle. This type is SSS. The three sides are given. So we will use a ruler and compasses. First, let's draw the baseline 16 cm using our ruler. So this is 16. Then draw the line. Then we will use the compass to mark the top corner Y. First, open your compass to 10.5 cm, the longer side. Make sure that it's 10, then put the needle of your compass on one end point of your line. And then mark an arc on top of your baseline. Then next, draw the 8 cm. So open your compass to an 8 cm. Make sure this is 8. Then put your compass on the other end of the line and draw an arc intersecting the first arc that we have drawn. Now we will use a straight edge or a ruler to connect the intersection of the arcs and the endpoints of our baseline 16 centimeters. So this is the 8 centimeter side. This is now an accurate copy of the triangle XYZ. Those are the sides 16 centimeters, 10.5, and 8 centimeters. Let's draw the accurate copy of the given right triangle. This is RHS. A right angle, a hypotenuse, and a side is given. So first, we will draw the base. You have to draw a line that is twice the base. So this is 9 cm, so we will draw 18 because 9 times 2 is 18 cm. Then draw a perpendicular bisector of this line. Open the compass to more than half the length. Then draw a large arc from the above going down below the line. Keep the compass point the same. Then draw a large arc intersecting the first arc that we have drawn. Now use the ruler to draw the perpendicular bisector. And then use the ruler to measure 12.5 centimeters from our endpoint to the perpendicular bisector. So this is now an accurate copy of the right triangle ABC. Let's take a look at this next exercise. What do you think will happen? Do this exercise on an A4 sheet of paper. In here, you'll discover what type of triangle is inscribed in a circle when the diameter is one side of the triangle. Pause this video and follow each step carefully. Come back when you are done to check your work. So what did you find out? Let's check it. We will use a compass and a ruler only. So first, mark the center of the circle. Draw a small dot. Then open the compass to 6.5. That's half of the 13 centimeters diameter. So adjust your compass accordingly. Then place the compass needle on the center point. Then draw the circle carefully. Use the ruler to draw the diameter. Check that this is 13 centimeters. Then open the compass to 6.6 centimeters. This is 6.6. Adjust it. Then place the needle on the right end point of the diameter. Then cross the circumference with an arc. Now adjust the radius of the compass to 11.2 centimeters. That's 11.2. Place the compass needle on the other end point of the diameter. Then cross the first arc that we have drawn. Now 
Use your ruler to connect the intersection of these arcs to the endpoints of your diameter. Make sure that this is 11.2 and this shorter side is 6.6 .6 centimeters. Now this is the triangle ABC. The question is, what is the measure of B? By looking at the diagram, can you tell? Make a guess. Let's use our protractor to measure. What is it? Yes, it is 90 degrees. Do you think this will always be true? That for any triangle inscribed in a circle, if the diameter is one side of the triangle, then it is a right triangle. Is it? Actually, it is. It is known as the Pales Theorem, which states that if ABC are distinct points on a circle, where the line AC is a diameter, then the angle ABC is a right angle. You can check this. Try another example of this one and you will see.